Hallelujah. Good morning. Welcome to Elizabeth Ann Ministries. Another blessed Wednesday morning. I give God praise. I honor him. I thank him. I worship him. I commit my life to him this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, taste and see that he is good and his mercies endured forever. Praise God. I am just excited this morning. I love Jesus. I love the Lord and I lift my voice to magnify him. Hallelujah. Our scripture is taken from Psalms um, 100 and it's all about magnifying Jesus today, exalting God and giving him praises. As I woke this morning, um, the verse came in my spirit. He is faithful. And I said, what? He said, he is faithful. And it tells us um, in his word that even when we are faithless, God is faithful. He is faithful. Glory be to God. I want to start with Psalms 100. A song of praise for the Lord's faithfulness to his people. That's the topic. Um on top of this scripture today. And there are only five verses in this chapter, but I want to read the entire chapter and I want to bless his name. Amen. It says, make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. What a magnificent testimony of our God. Through all generations, he endures. My God. I bless him this morning. I thank him and I give him praise. I give him honor. He is faithful. Those words rose in my spirit. Even when we are not, even when we don't deserve it, he's still faithful. He changes not. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. When I think of this verse, this chapter, and... I meditate on his goodness. Listen, he is Jehovah Jireh, okay? Our provider. He provides our needs. He is Jehovah Nisi, our banner, a banner of love and protection. He is Jehovah Shalom, our peace. It tells us in Isaiah 26, verse 3, that he will keep us in perfect peace whose minds are stayed on thee. And so if you want peace, you got to keep your mind stayed on him. He is Jehovah Shama. He's everywhere. The one who is with us everywhere for he is omnipresent. He is Jehovah Sitkanu, our righteousness, our faithful guide. Glory to God. He is Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, our protector. And when, when I think about him protecting and watching over me, I thank him when I go out and when I come in, I thank him, you know, because he's been very faithful to me in my driving. I'm 62, so I got to say, God, go before me when I pull out and go before me when I pull in. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He is Jehovah Rapha healer. Thank you, Jesus, our deliverer. So when we meditate on him today, when we think on him today, he is faithful. What does the word faithful mean when I hear that? Well, it means he's true hearted. He is devoted. He is unwavering. It means he is kind. He is holy. He is errorless. There is no error in him. He is authentic. Our God is perfect. He's unique. He's faultless. Hallelujah. He's firm in his devotions. He is just. He is an awesome God. He is loyal. 
He's honest. He is pure. Holy is our God, it continues to say in Revelation 4. And let me read that um, piece of scripture because it talks about John the Revelator and how the Lord had told him to um, come up. Amen? So that he can see some things. And he was swept away in the spirit. My God, what an awesome, awesome view. What an awesome vision. Oh, my God is awesome. I wish you can feel the presence of the Lord. He is so good. My God, we just bless him today. We honor him today. It is all about him today. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. It says in verse two, immediately he was, John was in the spirit and behold, a throne set in heaven and one sat on the throne. He who said there was like a jasper and a sardius stone in appearance, and there was a rainbow around the throne, and in appearance like an emerald. We all know what an emerald look like. At least most of us should. Amen? And around the throne were 24 thrones. On the thrones I saw 24 elders sitting, clothed in white robes, and they had crowns of gold on their heads. And from the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. My God, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Glory to God. Oh, Father, God, you be exalted above the heavens and let your glory fill all of the earth. Praise you, Jesus. Seven lamps of fire were burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And you will find um, mention of the seven spirits of God in the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 2 and beyond. Verse 6 in Revelation 4 says, Before the throne there was a sea of glass like crystal, and in the midst of the throne around the throne were four living creatures, full of eyes in front and in back. The first living creature was like a lion the second living creature like a calf. The third living creature had a face like a man, and the fourth living creature was like a flying eagle. The four living creatures, each having six wings, were full of eyes around and within, and they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Let me say that again. They are saying 24 7 day and night. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. He is worthy of our praises. He is worthy of all honor. He is worthy of all glory. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever. The 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and they worship him who lives forever and ever. And they cast their crowns before the throne saying, you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For you created all things and by your will, they exist and were created. Isn't that awesome? If you can just meditate on where God has brought you from, what he has done, let's stop for a moment and see what he has done. If you're my age, well, you've been blessed to have lived 62 years. God has still spared my life. He's kept me going. He's provided. I'm not starving. I'm not homeless. I'm not broke. Thank you, Jesus. I have all of my faculties. My mind is together. At least I think most of the time. Glory be to God. I thank God my children are still alive. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I thank him for his grace. I thank him for his protection. He is a good God. Can you meditate on some things that he has done for you and brought you through? Hallelujah to the Lamb. We say, God, you be exalted. You be magnified. You be glorified today. I want to testify of God's goodness, of his protection. The name that says, 
Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, our protector. One night while we were, we had gone to bed and I was still praying and I got up and I was led to pray another 30 or so minutes. And I did that. Glory be to God. And um, when I finished that second set of praying, I proceeded to get up and lay down in the bed. And about four minutes later, there was just shooting. There was just shooting. We live in an apartment complex, and across from us is another uh, apartment complex. And there was this shooting, and there you could hear the vehicles. There were, there were, we thought it was one. And there was a vehicle, and it was going back and forward, just shooting. There was just random shooting. So we laid low. And um, the shooting continued for about maybe five to seven minutes. And um, my daughter came in the room, and um, I said to her, I don't know what's going on. Um, we waited a little while longer. We saw lights flashing, like the police had arrived. And we looked out the corner of the window. On our side, there was calm, cool, collectedness. There were policemen that had guarded our gates, the the openings to our apartment complex. We we have a um, a, a wall of trees around our our building, and um, we were guarded by these police cars that were just quietly in the street. But on the other side, there were lights flashing. Um, policemen were back and forward. And we didn't know what was happening until the next morning. And so we found out the next morning that someone had stolen two vehicles out of the apartment complex and just shot up the apartment building. No one was hurt, but the persons had left the guns that they had done the shooting with in the vehicles and had escaped. And there were broken glasses in various apartments. Um, Some cars were shot out. But on our side, God had protected us. I thank God that no one was hurt on the apartment where they were shooting. But I give God praise. He is a protector. He's a guardian. He is our shield and our buckler, he says in his word. And so I bless his name and I thank him. I give him honor because it could have been different. Amen. But glory be to God, no one was hurt, no life was lost. So we still bless him. We honor him. What has he done for you? Give him praise today. Bless his name. Honor him. Thank him. Magnify him. Worship him today. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He is faithful. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you, Lord, when we fall down and we fail you, when we make a mistake that you've made it so available for us to confess our sins and be cleansed from all unrighteousness and to be to to be able to start over again. Father God, your mercies are renewed every morning. We thank you. We bless you. We, we praise you for that. We give you glory. Hallelujah. And we remember your words, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for your goodness and your mercy follow us. And so to God be the glory today. I honor Jesus today. I honor God. I bless him. This is for him. So join in with me and bless the Lord. Amen. Until we meet again, until another day, another Wednesday, please be blessed.